Good afternoon. So your website is up and running. Your content managed website is there. It's looking good and it's really easy for you now to post content. So one of the questions that comes up is, is there an easy way of getting content, valuable content, content that will draw your viewers, your readers, your customers to your website because they will want to see the content that you've posted? And the answer is yes, absolutely. There is one technique that you can use called content aggregation, which results in valuable content being posted to your website. And it does not take a lot of time and effort. It's something that you can do in your spare time. If you're eating a sandwich and browsing the web, you can take the time to make note of some of the, th the interesting things that you find. And you can aggregate that content onto uh, probably a news section on your website and people will find that very very useful and they will want to visit your website so that they can benefit from that. So let's take a look at that process. Let's start by taking a quick look at a really amazing uh, example of aggregation. Remember the idea is that you want to produce original content for your website in such a way that your viewers, your readers, or your customers will want to visit your web page so that they can you know, benefit from the content that you've produced. And of course it takes a huge amount of time to produce original content from scratch. So this is a way of producing original content without actually having to do the whole, the entire job of producing the content yourself. So how does it work? We'll take a look now at this page here. It's called the Drudge Report. And when a fellow by the name of Matt Drudge first got this idea, what he was doing was he was reading the news and he was reading blogs and various different bits and pieces of information all over the internet. And he was keeping a list of the most interesting uh, articles that he found at any given point in time. And of course he was updating this page a few times a day. So what happened was that news junkies came to know that if they wanted to find the most interesting news uh, for that day, one good source, one good resource that they could refer to is the Drudge Report. And this became wildly, wildly successful. It became incredibly successful. If you scroll down to the bottom of the page, you'll find some statistics. These are the current view statistics. Basically, in the last 24 hours, there have been 26.9 million visits to this web page. That's just staggering. 780 million visits in the past month and 7.9 billion visits. That's billion with a B in the past year. That's just shocking. These are fantastic numbers. And the reason that Matt Drudge gets these numbers is simply because he's creating or original content in the form of an index to the most interesting material that's available at, at, at any given moment in time. A more immediately applicable example of aggregation would be the Schneier.com website. Bruce Schneier is a security expert. If you're interested in security, Schneier.com is definitely a website that you want to check out from time to time. And Schneier, if he finds an article that he likes somewhere on the net, he'll quote maybe a little bit from the article. Here you see uh, some quotes from the, art, from the original article to give you an idea of what's there. And he'll, he'll mention uh, roughly what it's about and where it comes from and then he'll link to it so that if you want to go see the original article you just click on that link and of course he has his own comments these are his introductory comments here and uh, basically I'm sure if I click this link over here I'll probably find some more comments written by Schneier so this is an example of aggregation that's quite uh, valuable in the sense that we see that there is material that comes from another website, but that material triggers the creation of original content, which then appears on the Schneier website. Anyway, these are excellent examples of aggregation. And as you can see, it's very simple. In this case, by the way, there aren't really very many pictures. Schneier doesn't include very many pictures, but I'll just give you a quick tip. If you go to commons.wikimedia.org, 
that's commons.wikimedia.org, you can find photos that are licensed in such a way that you can use them legally on your website. These some restrictions, but in any case, uh, this is an example of aggregation. So here's one that I picked a few years ago for one of my websites. Uh, this is uh, an article about hugs and kisses, uh, which I just thought was very funny. It's an opinion piece. I enjoyed the article. I wrote for my own uh, content, I wrote, uh, I guess in this case, maybe three or four sentences of introduction. And then I did a little block quote here. As you can see, the text is indented a little bit. And I put uh, a sort of a, ba a gray background to highlight the fact that this is a quote from another source. And the source at the time was called the Dominion Post. I don't know if that's still their name, but you can see that their domain name hasn't changed. It's still stuff.co.newzealand. But uh, in those days, it was written pretty clearly Dominion Post on the, uh, on the masthead somewhere. In any case, so that's what I did. I aggregated this content onto uh, one of my websites uh, because I liked it, I thought it was really funny, and I, th I just basically added a couple of lines of introduction and took a quote from the original article. If you're not familiar with the process of adding articles to your content-managed website, you're going to want to now go and check out a video on that subject. And there's one more subject which uh, I myself plan to cover in, a, in another video, uh, hopefully pretty soon. And that's the subject of, or that's the topic of, how to use the tools that are available. There are a great many very interesting tools such as news.google.com and uh, alerts.google.com where you can program searches into the system so that when material that might be of interest to you appears somewhere on the internet, the system can actually send you an email saying, hey, I found this and I found that and uh, you might want to check it out. So there are some tools available. If the material that you're looking for is not front page material, what you can do is you can search the areas where that material will show up and you can automate that process so that you'll be able able to aggregate in a shorter period of time a greater uh, volume of material. Anyway, we'll deal with that in a separate video. For now, it's sort of clear that most of us at some point during the day uh, sit down with a sandwich and we browse a little bit around the web when we're on a break. And really all you need to do when you find something suitable for your line of work, all you need to do is bookmark it and then you can review those bookmarks and you can aggregate some of that material that you found onto your website. So please try it and uh, let me know how it goes. You can reach me at info at bntsol.net. Thank you.